Roger that, best. Over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you dare right give me a limb soldier. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Arthur! What are you doing here? Talk about surprise. Colonel, this will mean court-martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line. No, no shit, the watchers won't let No, you. I won't be quiet! What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, other cities dead! All Everyone of them, women, up. children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this misunderstanding. It's not my call, and you know misunderstanding Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Uh! Right? 
We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, what? did not end? Let me 
is finished. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 9 right. Area 18-5. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code so 1811 8 one, one, the so Area the route from here should go... Uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this overcome. what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me! Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! About Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad, I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Uh, sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trip to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's charities. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a cube. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. 
Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! <laughs> Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom, I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Uh, I don't know yet. Gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. Let's go, Artyom. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Awesome. Hey, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, I gotta that's say, it. that was one Good flimsy luck, roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out?
took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Look, a rabbit! A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons shielded. And welcome! won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Artyom, in this place all that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentia has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our to get to the boat. We will rescue her later, don't worry. by both during the sermon. And then what? Well, he, he, he's there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Silentius said, the man was touched by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Tell me if... What could that? 
Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just They gotta fine. be scared! What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdued occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Artyom, back from the abyss of You're alive! Information, gotcha. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank Artyom, you, Artyom. stop by my desk once you. you're We've done talking to the old place. man. I've got something for you. There was no reason for you. And then Anna picked it up. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. 
So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. We'll get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yes, Uncle Artem. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blin. 
Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running, Blin. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their <laughs> tarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace, one. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to think about. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow. Gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty place. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away, Blin. No, you could take the zip line down, just hook up and away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. <coughs> It's good I don't found me.
Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. 